Hey guys, welcome to Just Hoops by Shootaway. We're a training facility located here in Central Ohio. Wanted to give you guys an opportunity to learn more about our uh, training staff here. And we're gonna start with Coach Kellen Thomas, who we're very appreciative and fortunate to have working with us. Coach Thomas does one-on-one -on -one training. He does skill development classes and courses. He also does team workouts for us. Um, so he helps us in a lot of different areas, a lot of different avenues for you players to come to Just Hoops and learn from his expertise. So just want to get started here, Coach. Just kind of start us off with your basketball background, your story, kind of how you got started in the game. Well, I started playing basketball at the age of three. My grandmother and my father introduced me to basketball, and ever since then, I just loved it. I grew up playing competitive basketball, AU, in third grade. I went to Southport, and Southport Middle School and Southport High School, which is in Indianapolis. Um, at Southport High School, uh, I broke the, the scoring record for uh, most points. I broke the assist record, and I think the field goal percentage record still stands. Wow. Um, so after high school, I ended up uh, getting a Division One offer from Kent State University. Um, as a freshman, I played um, about 15 minutes a game, and my minutes grew since there. Um, going into my junior year, um, I got hurt. I got elbowed in my eye, and which led me to red shirt my junior year. Um, I got my degree at Kent State University. Um, then I did a graduate year transfer to IUPUI, which is in Indianapolis. And there I was um, honorable mention, and I also scored over a thousand points in college. Nice, that's big time, yeah. Living the dream that we all uh, dreamed of in, in the sport of basketball. So just kind of going back to um, elementary days, middle school days, just kind of talk about some things, if it was a mentor or kind of lessons uh, that you learned that really, really helped your growth and your development? Well, growing up, I was very fortunate that my father was, he pushed me to uh, be really hard. And so growing up, I always had somebody that was always in my corner. Like I said, I played competitively, so I always played against very good players. Uh, I think my third third through sixth grade AU team currently right now has like at least two NBA players, and like three overseas players right now. So like I said, I play with very good players. Um, and just working hard when I was younger. Um, it wasn't a lot of like skill development like there is now, but it was a lot of competition and you always wanted to be the best. So I think that's what drove me to be successful. Mm -hmm. Nice, so would you give a lot of credit to that your team was so competitive that every time you went to practice or in your games or your scrimmages that you were surrounded by really, really good players that kind of pushed you yeah to that level? yeah I would say that like I said my um so my father and one of my one of his closest friends they coached us in AU so every practice was intense um they knew what it took to to get us to that next level so nice yeah. that's big time and so I think what gets lost a little bit with kids nowadays is they just want that quick fix they just want they want it to happen right now um they don't I don't know if they quite understand how how hard um in the process that you can't cheat that Exactly. Um, so kind of just give some insight from going into your college days, yeah. um, what kind of things and habits that you developed um, yeah. that kind of separated you as you went along. Uh, before I go into that, I just want to say like when I was growing up, I was actually bigger for my age. Okay. So when I was growing up, I was actually pretty, probably a forward. Oh, wow. And so I played inside kind of most of my middle school years. And so when I grew up, I didn't grow any taller. So that's when I became a guard. Okay. And so I kind of had the strength as far as like an inside player, but also the quickness and the handles for a guard. So I think that kind of worked best my ability, just being able to play multiple positions. Mm -hmm. And so just as I went into high school, I was, I, like I said, I knew I wasn't growing anymore. So I knew I was a point guard. So I really worked on my outside shot, um, my handles, and just, I think one, one thing that separated me was, like I said, my competitiveness. I always wanted to be the best. That was big time, yeah. And then kind of going into segueing, so you um, signed, fulfilled your dream, going to Kent State University, high-level basketball on the MAC here in Ohio. Your transition, talk to me about your transition, your freshman year, your kind of introduction uh, to Division I basketball. Oh, it was a big wake-up call. Um, like I said, in high school, I broke a lot of records. I was the man. And then going into Kent State, um, I kind of, like I said, I didn't know what I was walking into. I kind of thought I was going to be starting, playing a lot. Uh, I walked in day one and my coach told me I was out of shape. I never heard that before. Just because, like I said, in high school, I played every minute of every game. I walk into Kent State and he says, you're, you're out of shape. You're a little overweight. 
So every day I'm training hard conditioning, I'm, I'm running stairs, I'm running suicides. And what, what really made me think was that I was one of the only players that was doing that. So that's when I knew I really had to work harder just because other players weren't in shape our other players were in shape and I wasn't. So, like I said, walking into day one was a big surprise, but I was I was up for the challenge and I think it paid off for me in the long run. Nice. No, it's, it's great. Um, you know, thinking about to like your idea, I think that um, from my experience as a coach is players' definition of going their hardest is always different from the coaches. Yep. And as coaches, we're just trying to instill in these players uh, that you have more, yep. uh, that you're capable more. So it's interesting that and, and exciting to hear that you had that transition and then you were able to kind of get over that hurdle pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, but going back through your Kent State days, your IUPUI days, maybe even your time in Indianapolis, if there's one thing you could go back and maybe just add to your game or add to your daily um, schedule, what, what would you do? What would you include that you think would have helped you in your career? Definitely just putting extra work in. Like I, I feel like I did stay after practice, go in before practice. But now that I'm out of college and I'm, I'm watching college games and stuff like that, it's always that what if, if I did this more, if I did that more. But just to, like you said, to have no regrets is the best thing, but it's hard not to Definitely. when you, you know, look back at it. Definitely, yeah. Now you're, I think that's why you were able to reach the standard you did, because I'm sure you worked really hard and you put a lot of extra time in. But you're sitting there saying, I could have done even a little bit more. And I just want that everybody to, that's listening to understand that, that there's always a little bit more that you could be doing. If you're only doing what the coach is asking you of coming to practice between two and four and you're not doing anything from four to the next practice, um, eventually people are going to bypass you. Definitely. Um, so, Coach, just want to kind of segue back here to just two. So kind of yeah. talk to us about your one-on-one -on -one trainings, um, your skill development classes, just kind of your overall um, philosophies and what you really try to instill and teach teach these players. I like to work on details, um, and what I mean, what I say, what I mean by that is uh, not just doing moves for a purpose or not just shooting without a purpose. I like to do everything as far as like it's game like in the atmosphere. So if we're working on jab steps or quick moves or shooting, I want to really focus on. How does this help you in a game situation? Nice. And so I like to focus a lot of players on their footwork. because That's one of the most things that was really important to me in college was my footwork. I could get to plenty of spots using only one or two dribbles. And when you watch today's basketball, you see a lot of kids or even NBA players doing a lot of dribble moves and stuff like that. But it's not, it's not really what is important in the game of basketball. So... I like to really focus on getting to a spot quick, uh, straight lines, like I said, attacking the hip, just details on every situation that helps you in every game situation that better it. Well, it's big time. I think that from what I'm listening to is you're efficient with the ball. Yes. Um, you use your dribbles wisely, you get to your spots um, instead of dribbling uh, in air. Yes. Um, so it's really good to kind of talk to us a little bit about your point guard class. So you're having a point guard class, it's on Thursday evenings. Kind of go into a little bit of what you guys have done and, and where you're going to take that class. Yeah, so we're actually going into week three of the class. Uh, the first two weeks, we uh, focused a lot on ball handling. The first week was actually probably almost 50 minutes of ball handling nice. for the entire hour. So they were pretty tired, but it was good. It's what they needed. And so uh, we worked a lot on relieving pressure. Uh, I think as a good point guard, you have to be vocal. You have to be able to handle the ball under pressure. You have to be able to make good passes. And you have to be able to get to your spots quickly. So we worked a lot on those type of situations where it was, like you said, not wasted dribbles and it was as efficient and effective. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks guys for listening. Really appreciate Coach Thomas taking the time to kind of tell his story. Um, so just highly recommended for everybody out there in the Central Ohio area that wants to get better, um, no matter where you're at in the game, by, by age or skill level, take advantage um, of Coach Thomas and his expertise. A guy that was able to fulfill a lot of dreams, scoring 
a lot of points in high school, getting the dream of playing in Division One, succeeding at the Division One level, and now he wants to take all those lessons and experiences and pass them on to you guys. Um, so take advantage, again, Coach Thomas is available for one-on-one -on -one training. He has skill development courses. He does team workouts. So you guys have a lot of opportunities um, to, to get better and, and learn from a guy like him. So thanks for listening. Wish you the best of luck, and we hopefully hope to see you here soon.